I'm Paul Shormout. This is my van, Jump Town. I'm from Winchester, Virginia. I own this with my son. It's a 74 Dodge van. I purchased it from the original owner in 1979, painted it, uh, did the interior myself. Then, uh, as some of us do, we changed vehicles. So I sold it to a good friend of mine. About 10 years later, he called me back. He says, Paul, I'm moving to Oregon. Would you like to buy your van back? I said, absolutely. I said, what type of condition is it? Oh, it's in fine condition, just like he sold it to me. So I drove up north of Pittsburgh, checked it out. Mice had gotten into it, body cancer. I was like, oh man, this is... But I agreed to buy it back, which I did and I'm glad. So I went ahead and repainted it again, did the interior myself. Um, I actually wanted to actually make it a really good custom van. So I had it done professionally this time. Kirk from Custom Vans did the interior. I had it repainted for the third time. Some of the features on the van. It's a full custom for the national trucking. Molded spoiler into the front, front wheel wells. Rear uh, flares are also molded. All badges have been removed. Door handles, door locks have been removed. As you can see, the the TV show the TV shows my my van, my band rather. We got Dodge emblem on there and the porthole windows. Porthole windows. Now what side, what, what kind of what wheels and tires are you running? The Kragers, huh? Kragers, which are actually made in China now, which is very disappointing to me. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. The uh, side marker lights have been replaced with uh, Dodge Charger, 68 Dodge Charger lights. And I've seen them on a few other vans, but I never saw any of them that were actually Frenched in. So I had those Frenched. Rear antenna is Frenched. Rear tail lights are styled after a 32 Ford. Front and rear bumper has been shaved. And it's got the belly pan on the back. It's a gold wing door on the back too. Gold wing door side and rear. My, yeah, my son found the uh, rear wing on eBay. I really don't know what it's off of, but it's unique and it fits the van fine. So we've got that going. It's got a rear backup camera. It's got the side pipes on both sides. It's got headers. Mm -hmm. It's a 318 with a mild cam put in it. I wanted to make sure it was still drivable. Edelbrock four barrel and intake. Got the yeah, I had, had the front visor put on. The wind got under it quite a bit. Didn't pull it off, but I made a support for under here, so oh, yeah. it, it's safe. Oh, there you it's go. It's safe and it's not gonna yeah. go flying off on the interstate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta have that, I know, yeah. believe me. <laughs> it's got the uh, G Glory Grill from California. Again, as I said, front spoiler is molded into the front fender flares. And what are, the, are those LED headlights on there? Yes, LED yeah. headlights. Okay. And then you got the nose piece on there with the Nose lights piece, the, the uh... I love that, yeah. Very cool. I like the lights in there. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what you got in here. It's got the 318. It's got a mild cam in it. I wanted to have it still drivable. Mm -hmm. It's got an Edelbrock four barrel, 
four barrel Edelbrock intake. It's got headers and the side pipes. It's got American radiator, keep it cool. And it also has the uh, shore power hookup. Oh, so I yeah, could hook this oh, right yeah. up and I've got power for the entire van. Mm -hmm. Dual battery system. On this side here, behind the driver's side door, actually when I first customized it, was a big, big side window, which was popular back then. But when I decided to go for a show van, took that out, and you, you, you can't see where it was, actually. Oh, great job. Good, did good body work on it. Yeah, I've got the uh, sunroof, which helps keep it cool, and the Venturi vent, which are rare or hard to find nowadays. The side stripe, I came up with the idea because back in the, back in the day in the 70s, a lot of Mopars had a similar stripe, and especially that Dodge lettering, I remember I wanted to kind of give it that definite 70s old school touch. Let's okay. see if it'll open while you're filming it. Okay. What do you got? Oh, remote control. No way. No way. Show me that thing. It's all right on your keychain there. Yep. How cool is that? Wow. Very easy. Yeah. Nice. Very easy. All right, let's take that's a look good. at the inside. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what's, uh, I mean, the whole van's just quiz it. But... Now, what are these things down here on the floor? What are they? What are those these are actually latches similar to what a Jeep would have. Mm -hmm. And I can latch those, close the door, and not feel like the body flexing is oh. going to pop, pop open a door while I'm driving. Okay. And uh, yeah. hardwood floors, refrigerator, obviously television. It's got storage on both sides and in the back but I've also got it that I can carry a little cricket cart with me the table just pops out and the center section top and bottom in there is easily removed where I can put ramps and bring the cricket right inside to travel My Lots of storage, I'm sure, under the, under all the seats. Yeah. Yes, dual. Both batteries are in the back. The dual batteries. Mm -hmm. Now you were talking about this is your band that you're in. This is my band. It's called uh, Jump Town. In fact, we just played uh, two nights ago for the national night out for local police and sheriff's department. Nice. Is that like an infinity refrigerator kind of a thing? Yeah, with yes. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And of course and, uh, you have the captain shares that turn around, swivel around. The dash clusters, chrome plated, had that sent out to California, and on the way back, it was damaged in shipping, so oh. they had to send a new one. That's the original Grant steering wheel I purchased in 1979. Still going strong. You got an overhead console up there. Yeah, the overhead console, some people would tell me, why don't you get a, a more modern fiberglass one? But my father helped me build that. Oh, and he man. passed in 2014. So there's no way I'm taking that down. No. That's no. still part of him with me, with sure. the van. And it's got cruise control. Wow, also has white lights I can turn on but that bleeds out the the red yeah yeah so well I just took it to Ohio for the Nats and it was it was awarded first place full custom for mid Dodge and also received the plaque for uh, interior lighting yeah. oh yeah for the light show yeah, yeah for the light show yeah bright and light yeah yep. I, I just posted that actually on youtube i saw that oh, it looks you? great yeah, yeah, looks thank great you. thank you oh uh, yeah beautiful 
absolutely love it. Yeah, the glass engraving jump down was done by Tumbleweed Graphics. He's another club member, owns Free Spirit Van.